Hello! Well, th thank you to all those who wish me happy birthday through various means, presumably most of you via Facebook. And uh, it's actually kind of the reason why I sort of just decided to record this. So, uh, presumably today, or I will be 5 square, or to use a more generic number, 25 years old as of today, and I'm at a stage of my life where things are currently up in the air a little. So, and I pretty much only have a faint idea of what lies ahead, and, but nevertheless, since it's also near the end of the year, I like to take the opportunity to do some self-reflection. And I guess my current situation is known to most of you, but for the most part, I'll just go ahead and summarize it a bit. So most of you will know that I recently graduated from a Master of Science and currently I don't have any plans to follow up with a PhD for a fair number of reasons. The first being that I've already spent seven years of studying at university and at this stage I'm still a bit tired of the academia environment and sort of the, the bubble around it as well. That's not to say it's bad or anything, it's just that for me I occasionally enjoy changing change of environment. The second reason is that I've sort of been a bit disillusioned with what I'm studying, with my specialization, and so if, well essentially if I was to try and do a PhD in the same area, it wouldn't, like I would find it fairly frustrating, and I don't feel like I'll be getting anywhere with it. That's not to say I'm not completely discounting doing a PhD, it's just that I don't intend to do it next year onwards and if, if I do end up doing a PhD it will probably be in a different but sort of related area like for like for example another branch of mathematics or in maybe computer science. So that so right now I'm doing a bit of job hunting and um, it's certainly a bit of an arduous process but that's it I do have an potential opportunities coming up in January so Fingers crossed, and it's pretty much been waiting game until then. In terms of more casual things, besides thinking several hours into my gigantic backlog of games, um, I've been taking the opportunity to indulge in making videos, which is partially the reason why I'm actually recording this as well. <laughs> the, two, the two main factors that were holding me back for the most part was the lack of a decent recording device and um, pretty much my anxiety as well and now that my brother has bought a sort of like a pseudo DSLR which is what I'm using to record right now and is actually capable of recording video at a sufficient quality unfortunately not my high standards quality but it's good enough so I will deal with it and as a result, I've taken some an opportunity to play around with it and such, and it's it's pretty fun, and um, it's also sort of uh, like a short introduction to some of the aspects of um, taking pictures, like the the ISO and um, exposure, shutter speed, and just some of the extra things. And for me, it's new things to learn, so I am pretty excited about it. Ideally, I'm hoping to get like my YouTube channel going and to have a steady hobby of making videos. The only slight problem is that there are a fair too many things that I would like to make videos of. Like one would be music covers, um, vlogs which like I'm doing right now, gameplay videos and hopefully some informative and discussion content which there is one hobby that I re have a really good idea for, but at, no, at the moment I still need to sort of write out a script and then just sort of figure out my arguments and put things things very constructively. So it's just really a matter of um, it's also part of that I'm I really want to put a little more effort into into these videos since um now I do have the time, but. The other thing is that with my earlier videos is that I was just like, okay, you know, I'm just going to record one clip, raw, unedited, and upload it, 
and that was um, again two reasons. One, lack of lack of a reasonable video editor. I now have acquired one legally, and uh, the other, um, the which is the other reason it skips me at the moment. Uh, the other reason is that. Uh, Oh yeah, the other reason is that um, it was like I was still interested in I was still trying to do things while while I was studying full time. So as a result, I didn't really have much energy or gumption that or motivation to really actually put out something quality. And that's pretty much my main concern going into next year. In that, if I end up working full time or part time, that. Um, I won't actually have this same energy gumption to actually put in the effort to make it a video like I have now, but that's for me to figure out come next year. Now, on, on the next topic I've sort of written down there, um, it's relationships. <laughs> I'm definitely, at, at 25 years old, I'm definitely at the age where is my Facebook feed is starting to be populated with people being married and having weddings and you know posting happy pictures of the long term relationships and um you know sincerely contract congratulations to them you know it's um it's very heartwarming to see that um you know they they found that significant other they're happy with them and you know they they um they express uh the means the ways to of you know pursuing and continuing the relationships um, and I'll, I'll meet the, I, I remember the first time it happened I was like whoa wait oh wait wow okay I'm starting to get old and um, but more importantly um, I will admit to having insecurities about my not having someone that's significant in my life but to be honest, I don't really have much of an excuse. It's more like I've never really put effort into finding someone, and um, I mean, I mean, there there, there is a number of reasons. Uh, like, like one thing, one thing with online dating, for example, is that let's just say that for the for the record, I don't have much of an issue with online dating, but I do feel it is a bit too impersonal, sort of in the sense that it's like. Uh, when you have to put up a profile, you have to write about yourself, and it just feels like you have to make yourself look good. And I feel like that. I feel like there's just another barrier that I have to navigate that I'm not really willing to put in the effort to. And it's sort sort of things like that. And I just feel I just feel like there's something I'm not really being aware of that. At the same time, I don't really care too much for. Um, and for I mean for the most part I don't feel it's reasonable to complain about it because it's, it's like it's like if I complained about it it's also saying that I feel like I deserve someone and that is quite a nonsensical statement and the least I could do in the meantime is continue to, to better myself and to be um, and to be, I suppose, a little more forward in expressing my interests if there is someone available that I, I am interested in. Because, needless to say, I haven't... I'm still, I'm still pretty awkward at heart, I suppose. And, but, just gotta keep, put, gotta keep pushing at it. Um, on, on the next topic I put down is um, mental health. And um, it's probably safe to say now that my depression stems from my anxiety and my perfectionism. And I'll probably, I'll avoid going into too much detail since um, it can be, well, for one, the amount of, the, the amount of um, ranting I would do about it could, be, could go on for quite a while. And um, it does tend to make a number of guesses and inference and in relating to things from my past and sometimes it becomes a he said she said situation where other where in other times it might just simply be a miscommunication issue or, or a communication issue 
that's it. I mean, I do have a better grip on things than in previous years, and um, one thing that was really, uh, I, I suppose, it, not a defining moment, but definitely a crucial moment was the, the past few weeks leading up to actually when I was completing my thesis for my research, and uh, it really highlighted the, the importance of, you know, just perseverance and um, the, the importance of having support from friends and just and just realizing that you know you're gonna be okay you're gonna get through this and uh, and the fact that there are other people who can emphasize with you because they're going through the exact same thing occasionally there's still a moment or two where sometimes I just need to pause sit down take a break take stock of what's happening but nevertheless I mean definitely this year I'm much happier and uh, definitely, definitely much better, and definitely much more control of my life these days. It's funny that despite all this, I still feel very lost on um, what I want, what I want to do, on um, what I want to do in life, and um, it's sort of like you know, I I did music because I enjoyed it, and I when I was studying music, you know, I really wanted to be like a top-notch solo performer. Um, and I, I guess in mathematics, it, I, I did mathematics because I, because <laughs> I just enjoyed mathematics and, um, and in both of the, in both of them, I sort of figured out like what I want to do within those areas, but it still feels like there is no like one defining thing that I want to do for my whole life. And, uh, it, yeah, it feels a bit not. Not, yeah, it doesn't feel very comforting, but I will say that the one comfort I do have is that I do enjoy sort of being like an all-rounder, like a jack-of-all-trades, and um, I do enjoy sort of being able to, or knowing about a wide variety of areas, and uh, and I, I feel like in the meantime that's, what at le that's at least what I will aim for, because I mean it's like now I'm mean, now I can do music, now I can do mathematics, and right now, in recording this video, I'm trying to get into video editing, making videos, and I'm sort of just taking a bit from music, taking a bit from mathematics, and just see if I can do things in the video format, as well as several other things I could do, like programming, web development, and goodness knows. <laughs> and until then, you know, as long as I'm as long as I'm making progress somewhere, or as long as I feel that I'm making progress somewhere, uh, I'll be pretty happy for the most part. Anyway, um, thank you for thank you for watching. Uh, Merry Christmas, and hope you have hope you all have a lovely holidays, and uh, an early Happy New Year's for those who are actually watching this before the New Year, and hopefully 2015 will be a good year for you.